Hi, Dr. Romano. Do you have any good questions on light for the dad exam? I do indeed. I actually made up a very challenging question. So in addition to the destroyer questions, why don't we come around and see a really tough question on light? I say to you in this question that a laser is pulsed for 100 nanoseconds. During this time, 8,300 joules is emitted. Now, if you remember, the joule is the SI unit of energy. Now, the signal has a wavelength of 350 nanometers. How many photons have been emitted? And I give you the Planck's constant, and I give you the speed of light. This is a hard question, so I'll even make you a deal. Do this with a calculator, but I want you to make sure you understand the chemistry. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is I converted nanometers into meters because the Planck's constant has got to be in meters. So when I did that, it multiplied 351 by 10 to the minus, 1 to the minus 9, I get 351 to the minus 9, or 3.51 to the minus 7. Now, the next thing I do is I'm given energy. I have energy, and I have a wavelength. Um, what we want to do is, is there a formula that relates wavelength and energy? And there is, and that's energy equals hc lambda. This formula is showing me since this and this are on opposite sides, and this is in the denominator. That means that energy and wavelength are inversely proportional, a guaranteed DAT type of question. In other words, as energy goes up, the wavelength goes down. Now, if we put the numbers in, we got the H, we got the C, and we know the wavelength of this light was 351 to the minus 7. That gives me 5.67 to the minus 19th joules for this one signal, for this one photon is 5.67 to the minus 19 joules. Now, we know the total energy is 8,300 joules. So what we gotta do is since we want the answer in photons, we're gonna have photon at the top. One photon is equivalent to the 5.67 to the minus 19 joules. If I multiplied it by the total energy, which is 8,300 joules, notice the word joules cancels out. If joules canceled out, we're left with photons. So 8,300 divided by 5.67 to the minus 19th gives me the number of photons, which is 1.46 times 10 to the 22nd photons. All right, I hope that helps. But don't forget, as far as the DAT goes, we need to know three formulas. Energy equals HC lambda. That shows they're inversely proportional. Energy, E, equals HF. And this is showing that energy is directly proportional to frequency. And finally, frequency times wavelength is equal to the speed of light. And that's showing an inverse relationship. So three main concepts, energy and wavelength, inverse, Energy and frequency, direct, frequency and wavelength, inverse proportion as well. All right, that wraps it up. I hope this helps on a challenging question. Good day to you.